Measuring the binder. I guess I can't talk about Tony Miano right now, huh? I just did. Alright, that's set for seven minutes. So we converted one pound of uh, investment. stuff that mixes really strangely. It almost starts to solidify prematurely, but that's just the nature of it. It's almost like flour with not enough water, huh? Six minutes on slow or low. Seven minutes on three, Seven fast. Minutes on three minutes fast. And then we uh, back in two minutes in the bowl and two minutes in the glass. Two minutes in the glass. I pour it with vibration as I pour it. Again, that was seven minutes slow, three minutes on three high, minutes speed. high speed. Kind of just write off the instructions. And down to two minutes for uh, vacuum. Good thing with the platinum investment is at least this brand, it's not a big hurry. <laughs> yeah. Stays pretty liquid pretty long. Notice that it, it's hard to get it to bubble a lot. There's a lot of banging to get the bubbles moving. And then we'll just do two minutes there. They say not, not, not to. Uh not to uh, place it directly over the rubber to the, uh, the wax, the wax mold. Or down the side of the flask. Vacuum. Then it just gets rested on, um, we put it on newspaper to help uh, wick out more of the, I guess, water, yeah. liquid. And it's recommended to sit there for an hour and a half. Uh, sometimes we'll put it in the flask a little sooner. You just got to be careful because the inside is still liquid. Uh, and that's where you, you don't want to disturb it for this time here. Can I need to top it off? You'll notice as it dries it too, it'll shrink a lot. It'll sometimes shrink as much as like a half an inch down. So you got to watch that when you're putting uh, things close to the top of the flask. Yeah. I 
Okay, so we're going to cast platinum. Um, just going to show a pretty basic procedure. Um, we have our platinum pre-measured out. Um, we've got the platinum crucible. Um, one of the things that I've found that's important is that the platinum is, for some reason, upright matters. And you want to have it as tight and close as possible, and you want bigger pieces. Small pieces have a hard time melting. Um, the induction coil has to obviously vibrate, I guess is what it's technically doing, to, to heat it. So these are some pretty big pieces. This is the dummy thermocoupler that just holds in the, the crucible. Um, I use it to just kind of hold that still. We've got the saddle in there. Um, they say to turn the machine on five minutes before. We have uh, cold running water that you have to hook up to get it set up. Uh, this is just a switch I put to the vacuum pump that's hooked up to it. And then we have argon uh, that also needs turned on. Um, it's all connected. I just put this switch in to make it all easy. Um, so we're going to take out our glass. Put it in there. We have our program set on the platinum. You have to pre program all that stuff and then basically just hit start. This is a shield uh, so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, get that little air every time. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, we're casting at 1450. This is platinum ruthenium that we're casting. We're starting to get through its cycle, uh, it's basically like really clean the chamber, pumping argon into it, vacuum it out the chamber, pumping argon into so the environment. Uh, so the gas washes, and it's also putting argon in under um, pressure as it's melting. Um, you can see the metal melting pretty good there. It's starting to melt. Um, this is a visual thing. I seldom just look at the temperature. So as soon as it falls up like that, and then it's going to break. There it broke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, getting that amount of time where the, the metal seems to fall up and um, be fluid. Uh, we've had some failures where we kind of poured it too quick and it solidified too quick. Uh, but that's just going to take a little experience. Basically, we'll just keep this on for um, vibrates for 30 seconds and then we're going to wait 30 seconds for cooling at least. Um, I try not to. Pump the flask too hard when the metal's still in this molten state, but as you know, platinum cools pretty quick, so I haven't really had any problems with that. Wait till the pressure's all the way down. I've opened that up with pressure in it and it kind of explodes on you. It's still blowing hot. We'll wait about probably 15 minutes, um, at least till the glow is totally gone. Um, and then we'll douse it in water. Uh, we'll just use a hammer to kind of break away. Uh, because we use the paper in there, uh, once you get it started, um, it'll break away pretty easily. And you pick away the most, most of what you can with your hand and a little pick. Um, and then we use a product instead of the J-Break. Uh, which is, I believe, sodium hydroxide, which is the same thing as Drano. It's a strong concentrate of Drano. Um, we found a product called Safety Best from iShore International. Uh, it seems to be a lot less um, caustic. Uh, we just basically put it in a little plastic container. I think it's fluoride-based rather than um, like an alkalide or an acid. Um, but it. It's just heated at um, ultrasonic temperature in an ultrasonic. Uh, when it's clean, it takes about an hour to get the stuff off. The fine stuff in between, sometimes you have to soak it for a little longer. But we found the same thing with the 
jaybreak that it was a lot more caustic. You had to put it in a steel container, which you couldn't really see what was going on. We had to take it outside because we didn't have proper ventilation, um, although we have it now. Um, we do um, use the safe D vest under the vent under a vent, but um, it doesn't seem to be caustic at all. Uh, I'm sure it has some toxins in it that I wouldn't want to drink or breathe, but. Um, it seems a lot less than the, the jaybreak, and it worked to us. It worked better. Um, I don't see too many people that I know using it, but I was turned on by a local guy here that cast in platinum. So that's basically it. It's casting in platinum. All right. So there's the casting. After just uh, picking away as much investment as we can, I'll see how close this will get in there. Um, see the surface finish. Focus on that. I'll provide a close up, but and then we'll put it in the um, divester and I'll, I'll let you know how long it takes it's from beginning to end. We're going to mix up a new solution today, anyway. So, okay, here we go. Here's the thing. This is how simple it is. Um, we basically just put it on a plastic. Thing. It's just in a little container, water container, filled up. Uh, we just mixed a new batch. We'll put it in there. Um, this is what the solution looks like. It's just a white powder. We basically take a film container, pour it in the water, and it's as simple as that. We'll just leave it in there for um, maybe an hour, half an hour, 45 minutes, two hours, it depends on, on how fine the details are and how much investment is in the piece.